Um, that's my view. Um, Christian, do you have any uh, opinion on this or, or, you know, or what, what do you think? Yeah, I believe Darius, uh, we are now going into uh, one week, which will be very interesting in the market. Actually, mm -hmm. it was all the August interesting, but tomorrow with the Jackson Hole, uh, I believe we will see what's going on in the market according to the, the words of uh, Jay Powell. Yeah. Uh, so in general, Nikkei is the oil index still below the level of resistance and still in somehow uh, technically still short. It's the only one actually. Yeah. And maybe a little bit the DAX. All the other seems to, to be ready to go to new uh, whole time high. Uh, but I will be very careful because, as I said, tomorrow is a turning point because uh, with the review of the job uh, that actually yesterday were very, very bad. I mean, almost one million of <laughs> jobs in America that are actually fake. They mistake just one million of jobs. So now maybe we will going to have on the table uh, for sure one interest rate cut, but maybe there is a chance that Powell will put on the table even a, a double cut, so it's 0.50. This form, in my opinion, can influence all the market, including Nikkei, that actually is so far from the United States. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I believe tomorrow and the no farm payroll of next week will be a turning point. So if the market wants to continue to go up, uh, most probably we need to wait this, uh, these two events, tomorrow Jackson Hall and then the no farm payroll. Well, in that case, I mean, like jumping into the US indices, I mean, this is what I'm seeing right now on the Dow. Um, okay, from my side here, I mean, on my technicals here, I can see that we're getting a bit, a bit of a resistance here and near this downside line. But I, I, but yeah, okay, I, 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 I hear what you're saying about the possible two rate cuts, but do you actually think that they're going to do that, the two cuts? I, in my opinion, look, I think that, look, by the end of the year, they were, uh, they're expecting right now, what, four cuts? I mean, before we had five, now they're four. Um, in I think that okay, he, he he might continue saying that you know yes yes we're ready to like continue cutting, but then if the stock market you know continues to rally, then I think that this will diminish very quickly into, into three cuts. I mean, I, in yeah. general, I don't think that they're gonna do like I, I, one cut in September. Yes, for yeah, sure. For sure. Two cuts uh, in September. Ah, it's like I think it's overstretching. Yeah, it's, actually, uh, if. If we look at this picture, that is nothing is reasonable. First of all, beginning of August, when the job report came on the table and the market started to be afraid of recession, mm -hmm. we had this big drop, this huge drop on uh, on the stocks. Uh, and that moment, the market, as you mentioned, uh, price five cuts, five cuts. Yeah. Uh, now, I mean, last meeting, Powell told in September we are gonna see if we are gonna cut. One time, two times, or even never. Mm -hmm. It was was last message in end of July. So to come in September with 0 0.50, it means that or you missed it totally in July not to cut, or the market is actually deteriorating and collapsing the job market very fast, which is yeah. very bad for the stocks. So once again, uh, I don't believe in double cuts. If this will happen, it's difficult for me to justify this market on the top, or at least it's difficult to justify the continuance of this rally because it means that the economy is fucked up. Let's be clear. Yes, yes, yes. True, true. In September reminds me to 2007. No cut in July, and then in September, double cut. And then we know what's going to be, we, what happened actually after end of September and beginning of 2008. So I hope it's not going to be like that because. I don't believe the market will react very good because the market will really price the recession in this case. So yeah, I'm agree with you. I believe more in 0.25 uh, with uh, actually an indication of continuous, continuous path of decreasing. So yeah, three cuts for me now are the most realistic output. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. In, in in general, like I said, I think that as I, I I talked about this in my previous sessions as well, it's like you're having a great tool, you know, uh, that uh, where you can promise people uh, say that yeah yeah we're gonna do five cuts and you know you bo you boost the the stock market without actually doing anything, so you just promise, and then you know when the stock market kind of uh, rallies nicely, then you say you know what I think that like uh, that many cuts are is like too much. 
and then you know the stock market goes down a little bit then you say you know what we'll support the stock market we'll do the i don't know six trillion cuts or whatever yeah yeah and then the stock market goes up again so it's like it's always like this game that you know without doing anything and i think that at this point yes the fed is already pressured they have to do something so enough of these these games i think that look either like do something or like you know give us a clear indication because i with you i totally agree with you as well because this I mean, okay, we might go for another all-time high, but uh, it's becoming a little bit o over expensive or something like that, you know. Um, again, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, maybe like this over expensive is uh, uh, is relative, like it's subjective in a way. Like you know, what is over is gold at two thousand five hundred over expensive or not? You know, so this no. I get it. I I totally understand this logic, but.